Okay, hello, welcome everyone to this very unique uh, little show that I've kicked off, as I mentioned as my big announcement on the last episode of Raw, and, uh, well, this is, uh, shall we say, the first episode of Ask the Roster. We have 18 questions uh, for this first show, so that's a nice good positive start, and I hope to retrieve more after this. So uh, let's find out what's been asked and what has been answered. I'll be doing all the questions in the order that they were posted on the forum, and so our first nine questions are from Kanina Kana. And uh, she asked first for Aki, what exactly are your thoughts on how Dr. Eggman keeps trying to rid you of the ASF? His answer is, well, it's for sure not clear anymore why he wants to, I'm not really being a thorn in his side anymore. I guess he just has a promise to himself, but he think if he wants to think like that, that's okay. I'm just going to make it harder and harder for him to do so because I love being here. Uh, the next question is for Knuckles. How are your feelings about Chaos screwing up your match with Shadow? Were you looking forward to your first face-off with him before it got messed up? His answer is... I look forward to every challenge I come to, but yeah, this one was something special. You could feel it in the air. And if this is one thing I like doing, it's showing the fans why I have this world title with me. Beating Shadow would have been a true blessing. I guess I'll agree with him on that one. It would have been a blessing. Next question is for Shadow. Same goes for you. Were you looking forward to the first face-off with Knuckles? Did you expect Chaos to do what he did during Raw? His answer was, the only thing I'm really looking forward to at the moment is beating the holy crap out of chaos. And yes, I did expect him to show up, but like I said to him before, he can do all he wants to me, but he'll just make me more and more determined to beat him at ASIF. That's some pretty strong words there from the Ultimate Life Form and our current Intercontinental Champion. Well, next question is for Sonic. One question, why the hell did you want to pick a match against Metal Knuckles that was practically stacked against you? His answer was, eh, what, sorry, stacked against me? Hello, do you know who I am? I'm Sonic the Hedgehog, the greatest undisputed champion that ever lived, and I'm way better off than teaming with a big, red, ugly robot. Yeah, okay, he beat me, so what? Everyone knows who is the better person deep inside, and that's me. That's why I'm sure I'll be the most voted person in the, the main event at ASIF, regardless of how I'm acting, because they know if they vote me in, they will be a new world champion, and it's going to be me. Wow, Sonic. <laughs> I didn't know he had that much of an attitude, but I guess I was wrong. That's some more strong stuff. <laughs> Our next question is for Lisa Simpson. How are you feeling after winning the U the, the, the uh, title that your brother wants so badly? What are you expecting to happen on Smashdown? Her answer. Words could not really explain how I felt on winning the championship. I could hardly get any sleep that night knowing what had happened. Of course, my brother was a little enraged, but in the end, he just had to accept it and did give me a little credit for what I did because I beat the one who beat him. If that any makes sense. If that makes any sense. As for the next show, well, all we know, Tails will want his rematch, but somehow I got a feeling I'll be holding on to it, uh, holding on to it a little while longer. Sorry, I messed up a few times there. <laughs> but uh, yes, I hope she does ho hold on to it for a little while longer, at least. See, that's another blow to the anti heroes Our next question is for Manic. How does it feel to finally be fully recovered after your leg injury? What are your thoughts on how Smashdown is going to be affected by the anti-hero's control of the show? If you had control and could design your own show, what would be your perfect Smashdown show? His answer, which is quite a long one, <laughs> is it's feeling pretty, uh, it's feeling super great. Like I said, I'm back in full force, and yes, okay, I did get beat last time, but that was a handicap match, let's face it, and I beat, and I bet even Superman could not win a handicap match. 
well maybe but I'm not Superman anyway as for anti-hero control it's going to take some getting used to only problem about that is I don't plan on getting used to it because sooner or later things are going to be changing and that comment has the freedom movement seal of approval and for my perfect smashdown show hey if Tails wants me in a handicap match let's put him in one stay, uh, stay with me and Wario no wait me and Astaroth I think that would be my perfect show don't mind anyone else there's nothing that they're, they're nothing to what Tails is to me maybe just put them in a huge food fight oh wait and Peach and, f and uh, Peach can face Rouge in a bra and panties match. Well, that sounds like definitely manic for you. <laughs> dearie, dearie me. Our next question is for Tails, or as she put, Miles. Uh, how did you feel to have all the cockiness get the better of your judgment and make you lose what you cheated so hard for? <laughs> Before I answer your stupid question, let's get one thing right here. I never cheated to get that title, I rightfully deserved it. In this business you do what it takes to win. If you don't, you end up like Manic and his freedom movement. And trust me, I'll be doing exactly the same to take back what's rightfully mine. As for my cockiness getting the better of me, I had the match won until that freak shows up and drives me into the announce table. I don't call that exactly fair and I don't call that my cockiness getting the better of me. I had the match under my control and you know it. Well, I guess he did. Oh well. He lost. <laughs> Moving on to our next question for Void. How does it feel to be such great tag team champions with Marzell? If you had the choice, would you ever switch your partner or stick with him? Is there any team on Raw that you'd feel worried to ever face in a tag team match? What exactly would you say is your favorite type of tag team match? His answer is, hmm, that depends on your perception of what a great tag team champion is. But to me, the answer is great. We have uh, proven to be a strong force in the world of tag teams, and we will continue to do so every single time. I would never change partners. Me and Marcel have a perfect in-sync harmony together. When it comes to Raw, I don't think we would need to be afraid. You're not a champion if you fear others taking you on. And for a favorite match, once again, if you're a champion, you don't really need to have one single type of match because if you're a champion, you should be a master of them all. Well, I don't know if that's confidence or something, but uh, yeah, he's been a good tag team champion with Marzell. I'll give him that. How long can they hold on to those titles? That's another thing. We'll have to wait and see, won't we? And so the final question for Kanina Connor is... Wario, can you please lose the attitude? His answer is, attitude? Uh, I think the word the word worry is in order, as I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, fair enough. <laughs> oh well, that's all going to be a mystery to us. Right, let's move on, shall we? I think we've got time for a few more questions before uh, this part runs out. So, uh, the next four questions are from Dr. Dark. And his first question is to Mario. On Raw, you lost to your brother and Mandy. How do you feel about it? His answer. Everyone is going to fall sometime or another. That match was just not our night. But don't worry, we don't plan on making that mistake again soon. Well, we'll have to see the next time they step into tag team action. I'm sure Mario could do pretty good on his own. He's much better as a singles competitor in my view. But that's just me. Next question is for Sonic. Why did you face uh, Metal Knuckles in a no disqualification match? His answer, because I don't need him anymore. don't really know why I needed him in the first place. He's been nothing but a huge disappointment since we formed together. So thanks, but no thanks. I'll stick with being the best on Raw by myself. Oh, there's more cockiness coming from Sonic. I never knew why they did team up. Oh well, they were a pretty dominant force, but I guess he's right. But we'll just have to see how good he does on his own now. I think we've got time to fit this one in at the end. For Wario, do you feel pretty guilty due to the fact that you had to face cute pink? His answer was not totally, because if she faced an anti-hero for her first match, you can bet for sure they would not let her win. So in that respect, it's a good thing. But I hope I don't have to do something like that again. I still have to punch her and whatnot. That's the part that made me guilty. 
I guess it would. And uh, we'll see you on part two.